The global e-commerce market size was valued over 9 trillion US dollar in 2019 and is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 14.7% from 2020 to 2027. This is a huge opportunity for the sellers to focus on e-commerce more than ever. For selling product on different e-commerce website, the sellers need some listing tools to make it easier. One of the best listing software is Storefeeder. Exporting and importing products in Storefeeder are easy, but for some, the tasks may seem difficult. This feature will allow you to export and import your entire product catalog easily. Hello, I am Nadia from Ecom Clips. Let's see how we can export and import product from Storefeeder easily and effectively. First, log in to your store feeder account. After logging into your account, you are able to see dashboard page which is the initial page in store feeder. Then go to the product tab and scroll down product import export. You will find the export tab on the top left corner. Here you will see a drop down menu which is containing all the fields relevant to your products including any custom attributes and variation attributes you may have. Or if you want to select a field to export, simply check the box next to the field name as you wish to review. When you have selected the field to export, then simply click the export button to download the product information. After downloading the excel file, you can edit it according to your needs. You can also get the archive product if you click on the archive product checkbox and then click on export button to export the file. You can also download a blank template from store feeder by clicking download blank template. So this is the process how we can export our product easily from store feeder. Now let's move on how to see import product from store feeder. Here again we need to go to the product tab and scroll down product import export. You will find the import tab on the top left corner. Here you can see the two import tab. We can use two way to import our product. One is import creating new, another is import update existing. So now I am creating a new import file, then I go to import create new. Here you will first need to click the select file button and find the spreadsheet. I have already prepared an excel file by using blank template. Once the file has been uploaded, you will need to mapping the spreadsheet fields to the matching field in the store feeder. Here are two fields showing yes no option. Click these two fields on and then click on import button to begin the file import process. After completing the process you will receive a message when the file has finished importing. It will inform you if the import was successful or if there is any error find then the error will be displayed in the same order as they were imported. So this is the process of exporting and importing the product from store feeder easily and effectively. We hope that if you watch this video and follow the process you can easily export product from store feeder. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel eCompass. If you have any question regarding store feeder please let us know in the comment section. We will be glad to help you with that. You can visit our website www.ecomclips.com for more information. That's all for today. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.